The lone survivor of the Hamptons airplane tragedy is the hospitalized pilot who also owns the plane. 61 year old Richard Rosenthal, a respected animal rights attorney from Huntington Station. We are looking into why he ended up where he's at today. That's part of the investigation. We don't know. It's miraculous. It is unbelievable that a plane could crash and somebody uh, survives. But the two others in the vintage single engine plane were not lucky. Beloved Israeli born flight instructor Ari Narkunsky, 64, of Brooklyn, and their passenger, a dear friend, 65 year old Robert Wilkie of Hempstead. It's a very sad situation, um, but I think all the people who are involved in uh, the recovery effort, the uh, putting out the fire, the Air National Guard uh, people that uh, responded. Heroes. Absolutely. And they are um, beyond words happy and grateful to the first response. Responders that the Air National Guard responded so quickly and obviously helped their father and uh, husband out of such a devastating crash. It was in dense woods just off runway 33A where the Navion F propeller aircraft built in 1948 went down. Army National Guardsmen flying in a helicopter training session near the airport spotted flames, landed and rushed into the Pine Barrens with handheld fire extinguishers, saving the pilot who was struggling to open the plane's canopy. Overall, Good day. Uh, oh, we were in the right place at the right time with, with the right crew. And uh, as uh, guardsmen, you know, we train to handle situations like this. And on that day, everything came together. If it wasn't for their quick response and that really a heroic action in a uh, burning airplane, that uh, we would have um, three, three fatalities instead of two. The National Transportation Safety Board and Federal Aviation Administration are on scene determining what went wrong after the trio left Farmingdale's Republic Airport Sunday morning, bound for West Hampton Beach. According to the air traffic control tower, the aircraft was doing a touch and go. And uh, they don't know what happened after that. Touched down and then started taking off again. Survivor Rosenthal is in and out of consciousness. His family at his bedside. This is the ninth small plane crash on Long Island since February of last year. From Stony Brook University Hospital, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Doctors and the pilot's family say that he's in critical condition but is expected to survive.